My name is David Pilgrim. I am Vice President for Diversity, Inclusion, and Strategic Initiatives at Fair State University. I am also the founder and director of the Jim Crow Museum of Racist Imagery. The Jim Crow Museum started in a 500 foot square room. It was literally visual storage and I would bring my students in. I was teaching sociology and these were just powerful teaching tools, right? And I bring my students in, the word got out, people started writing articles about it, but we stayed in that little room from the early 1990s until 2011 or so. And then we moved into this larger facility. But wherever we've been, our goal has been to take objects that were meant to be harmful they were meant as racial propaganda, and to use them as evidence of what occurred in the past, and quite frankly, as evidence of what we shouldn't repeat. This is an exciting time with the museum. We are in the early stages of raising $20 million to build a two-story standalone state-of-the-art facility that will be located at the front entrance of the campus. We're working with Howard Revis, a design firm out of D.C., to help us design the permanent exhibit, which will be located on the main campus at Ferris. But they're also helping us design a traveling exhibit. The lessons that are taught in our current facility and that will be taught in the new facility, we believe we can also teach those lessons nationwide via the traveling exhibit. And so that really large, well thought out, well defined traveling exhibit will go into communities and, and it will create spaces where people can have the same types of dialogue that we're having in the physical facility in Big Rapids. Uh, we're already talking to uh, high schools and colleges and community groups about the programming that will be done, the workshops, the discussions that will be facilitated as we find ways to use the collection in the same way we do here, which is uh, as tools to facilitate intelligent discussions about race, race relations, and racism. Recently, the university has made a significant contribution to this project. That tells me that this museum will be a reality. People are going to come here from all over the world. They already do. Police departments come here, politicians come here, school superintendents come, they bring their staffs, scholars, students from all over the country, civil rights, human rights, church groups come. But even more will come when we build this building at the front of our campus, uh, and it's going to happen. I had a calling to, to try to make this world better. As trite and corny as that sounds, I had a passion to make the world better. I didn't know this would be the way to do it. Didn't know I would create a museum. I was obsessed with these objects. I mean, every city I went into, I, I would collect them. I didn't have a lot of money, but the money I did have, I spent on these objects, collected them, because, because I, I, I felt in deep in me that there was something in these hateful things that I could turn them into teaching tools and I could get people to have the kinds of discussions that they needed to have. The difficult discussions, sometimes even painful discussions, but discussions that they needed to have. And so, you know, life, life is weird. I mean, it's, you, you know, you don't know the trajectory. Uh, and sometimes even when you figure out a trajectory, you don't know where it's gonna end. Um, but you can do the things you need and must do to make sure that you can make some kind of difference. The Jim Crow Museum is my life's work, but it's more than that. It's an opportunity, I truly believe, for us to make a difference in this nation. And you can help us do that. And I hope you will not just partner with us, but help champion the work that we're trying to do.